welcome back to my channel we are still working on some development of uh, cylinders and we want to work on this problem three here as we have that the um, diameter is 40 the height is 64 and distance from here to here is 32 so why the radius of this curve is 48 millimeters all right so let's see how we are going to work this out to produce this given view but we need to draw start with the construction of the plan so what we need to do first is to draw a vertical center line a vertical center line so we draw a vertical center line so like this okay then we go on and produce a horizontal center line horizontal center line so we have it like this okay so then we take our compass and take a measurement of 20 millimeters which is the radius of the of the uh, of the diameter so the diameter is what is 40 so the radius is 20 so we take 20 millimeters putting it here and we draw a semicircle sorry we draw a circle not a semicircle so we draw a circle like this so we draw a circle here okay so that's the circle so then we are going to divide this circle into 12 equal parts into 12 equal parts so with the use of our 60 degrees square 60 and 30 so we are going to divide this into 12 equal parts okay so we turn to the side All right, so then we are going to number this point on the circle. So I still take this as uh, zero. So this is one, this is two, this is three. So here is four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is nine, this is 10, and this is 11. So we have number the point. So next, so we move on to okay so we come up here a little bit okay then we draw horizontal line so and then with a square so from this point zero on the circumference of the circle we are going to draw a vertical line so we draw a vertical line here and then from this point six here we also draw a vertical line from here like this okay so the next thing that we are going to do is to take the height so the height is 64 millimeters so i take a measurement of 64 millimeters from here this is 64 millimeters here so here i'm going to draw um horizontal line so like this then i need to take a measurement of 32 millimeters 32 millimeters so for 32 millimeters this is 32 so this is 32 millimeters here okay so we have um, this point so this is 32 so the next thing i'm going to do is that um as we are told that the radius is uh is um the radius is 48 millimeters so 48 millimeters um so what i need to do um okay so i will first of all uh let me see i need to draw let me draw this as horizontal line let me just draw it as horizontal line here like this so distance from here to here is 32 so and we are told that it is 48 millimeters 48 millimeters um okay uh, let me all right so what i will do is to take a measurement of 48 millimeters on my ruler so which i've done already so that radius 48 so i'll just um uh distance from here to here is 48 from here to where we have this line is 48 millimeters is 48 millimeters so um so that's what i did i just placed the pinpoint of my compass here on this line so i just tested so um so and then looking at it it touches this point so then I've looked at it that if I draw from here, 
need to touch this point so that is what i did that is what i did so if i look at it okay so distance from here to here is 40 so if i'm to take the measurement that i have from here to here uh, it's not up to eight so i'm not going to so just try it the way i did it take 48 millimeters as we have here on this radius but make sure you take a measurement of 48 from this point here from this point to this point here so and draw this line then take 48 millimeters place it anywhere on the line and test if it will work so uh, that is what i can say about that now that's what i can say about that now so let's go on and go in with our work so um so this line so will be a thick line so to be a thick line so this line will be a thick line from here to here and then so we have it as a thick line from here to here then we also make this a thick line like this okay so we have done that so the next thing that we are going to do is that so we are going to uh, draw a vertical line from the point on the circumference of the circle so 1 and 11 they go together 1 and 11 they go together so i just need to draw a vertical line so here like this okay so then uh, 2 and 10 they go together so i draw a vertical line then 4 and 8 they go together like this then 5 and 7 they go together and we have already drawn that of 6 we have already drawn that of 6 so let's take note of that um, okay alright so the next thing that we are going to do is that we draw a horizontal line from here so this horizontal line goes like this then we also come up here we draw a horizontal line from here okay so the next thing that we are going to do is that so we take a set square and we draw a line here like this then if we are opening we are opening from here we are cutting it here that means we are going to have six at this end here so this is where we have our seam let me call it seam xx so we are cutting it here and spread it so we have the seam along this point so that means we have six so now what the next thing i'm going to do is to take a measurement of the circumference of the circular base of the cylinder which is diameter is 40 and that will give me 126 millimeters if you calculate the circumference approximately 126 millimeters so i mark 126 here so i'm going to divide this distance to 12 equal part as we have divided a circle to 12 equal part but this point will also be 0 0.6 here so let's take note of that so i'll do the division of this line to 12 equal part while i pause the video and when i'm done I will come back and show you the next thing to do. Alright, so I've divided the line distance from here to here into uh, 12 equal parts and I have joined the point with this line and I've also drawn vertical line. So what I want to show you now is that uh, the numbering, so we have 6, 6, so we have 6 here. What follows so 6 is 5 and 7, so I'm going to put 5 here then here we are but we have seven then the next is four eight so this is four and i'll put it at this point so next is three nine so here we have three and this is nine here so followed by two ten okay followed by one eleven and then we are going to have zero here at the middle here so now let's go and produce the uh curve so this is going to give us a curve but let's see how it's going to be so starting from six so where do we have six i need to draw a horizontal line from this point six here so to across this surface so um so we have it intersecting six at this point and also at this point so the next is we have what we have five seven which is this point here so we just need to draw a horizontal line from here like this so where does it intersect five so this is where it meets five and then it intersects seven at this point so next we have what we have four eight which is this point so here i'm going to draw horizontal line from this point here like this 
so it intersects um, so uh, four at this point this is four and then here we have what here we have uh, it at this point so next we have what we have for three and nine which is this point so I'm going to draw a horizontal line so from this point like this so look for where intersect three which is this point here and intersect nine at this point here next we have what we have 210 so which is this point here so I will draw a horizontal line from this point so this is it okay so it intersect 2 at this point and it intersect 10 at this point here so next we have what we have uh, 111 which is this point so if I draw a horizontal line uh, from here okay so it goes like this so it intersects 1 at this point and then so 11 at this point last one is 0 which is this point here so all we need to do now is to connect the point together with the use of a French curve so um, so looking at what we have here I think for this one here so let me start with this So let me join these five points together like this. So let me join this together at once. Okay. So then, so it goes up here like this. Okay. So for this one, we so it goes like this. Alright, so then we also come here now. So we need to rotate it, adjust it so that you can have all the points together. So it goes like this. And then so we can so join this together. So why for this? So I need to okay, so we can join this together like this all right so this is how the curve we look okay so as we have done it here so the next thing that we are going to do is that so we are going to make this line a thick line okay so this line will also be a thick line then so this line so make it a thick line from here to here all right, so this is how the surface development of this shape it looks as simple as I've done it here. All you need to do is to practice. When you practice, you become a master. Thank you and God bless you.